Zi Chinese, Ji Yi Pinyin, Zi Yi, Wade Giles, Chi I, Japanese pronunciation, Chi Ga, Korean, Jui Vietnamese, Tri Gi is traditionally listed as the fourth patriarch, but is generally considered the founder of the Tiantai tradition of Buddhism in China. His standard title was Sramana Zi Yi, ch. Sha Men Ji Yi, linking him to the broad tradition of Indian asceticism. Zi is famous for being the first in the history of Chinese Buddhism to elaborate a complete, critical and systematic classification of the Buddhist teachings. He is also regarded as the first major figure to make a significant break from the Indian tradition, to form an indigenous Chinese system. Biography <inaudible> 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 Born with the surname Chen Shane in Wurong District, Jing Prefecture now Hubei, Zi Yi left home to become a monk at 18, after the loss of his parents and his hometown Zhongling that fell to the Western Wei Army when Zi Yi was 17. At 23, he received his most important influences from his first teacher, Nanyue Hu Si a meditation master who would later be listed as Zi Yi's predecessor in the Tiantai lineage. After a period of study with Hu Si he spent some time working in the southern capital of Jiangking. Then in 575 he went to Tiantai Mountain for intensive study and practice with a group of disciples. Here he worked on adapting the Indian meditation principles of Samatha and Vipassana translated as Ji and Guan into a complex system of self-cultivation practice that also incorporated devotional rituals and confession, repentance rites. Then in 585 he returned to Jinling, where he completed his monumental commentarial works on the Lotus Sutra, the Fawa Wenju and the Fawa Shweni Chappelle holds that Ziyi provided a religious framework which seemed suited to adapt to other cultures, to evolve new practices, and to universalize Buddhism." Zi Yi and Bodhidharma were contemporaneous, though Zi Yi had royal patronage whilst Bodhidharma did not. <laughs> <laughs> Important works Zi's lesser treatise on concentration and insight was probably the first practical manual of meditation available to the Chinese and with its direct influence on the So Chan I was very influential in the development of Chan meditation. Rujun Wu identifies the great treatise on concentration and insight, Mo He Ji Guan Mohe Zhiguan of Zi as the seminal text of the Tiantai school. Among Ziyi's many important works are the Liu Miao Feimen, Words and Phrases of the Lotus Sutra, Fa Wa Wenju Fa Wa Wenju, and Profound Meaning of the Lotus Sutra, Fa Wa Zan Yi Fa Wa Shweni. Of the works attributed to him, although many may have been written by his disciples, about 30 are extant. Four Samadhis Zi developed a curriculum of practice which was distilled into the Four Samadhis Chinese, Si Zhang San Mei Pinyin, Si Zhang San Mei. These four samadhi were expounded in Zi's Mohe Zhiguan Chinese, Mo He Ji Guan Jpn, Makashikan. The Mohe Zhiguan is the magnum opus of Zi's maturity and is held to be a grand summary of the Buddhist tradition according to his experience and understanding at that time. The text of the Mohe Zhiguan was refined from lectures Zi Yi gave in 594 in the capital city of Jinling and was the sum of his experience at Mount Tiantai C.585 and inquiry thus far. Parsing the title, G refers to Chan meditation and the concentrated and quiescent state attained thereby, and Guan refers to contemplation and the wisdom attained thereby. Swanson reports that Zi held that there are two modes of Ji Guan, that of sitting in meditation Zuo, and that of responding to objects in accordance with conditions, Li Yuan Dui Jing which is further refined as abiding in the natural state of a calm and insightful mind under any and all activities and conditions. Swanson states that Zi in the Mohe Zhiguan less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 is critical of an unbalanced emphasis on meditation alone portraying it as a possible extreme view and practice and offering instead the binome ji guan ji guan coming cessation and 
insight, contemplation, samatha vipassana as a more comprehensive term for Buddhist practice. The Samadhi of One Practice, SKT, Ekavyuha Samadhi, ch. Yixing San Mei, which is also known as the Samadhi of Oneness, or the Calmness in which one realizes that all dharmas are the same. Wing Tsit Chan, is one of the four samadhi that both refine, mark the passage to, and qualify the state of perfect enlightenment expounded in the Mohe Zhiguan. The term, Samadhi of Oneness, was subsequently used by Daoxin. The four samadhis are Constantly seated samadhi, Changzo Sanmei Chang Zuo Sanmei, 90 days of motionless sitting, leaving the seat only for reasons of natural need. Constantly walking samadhi. Changxing Sanmei Changxing Sanmei 90 days of mindful walking and meditating on Amitabha. Half walking half seated samadhi. Bangxing Banzo Sanmei Banxing Ban Zuo Sanmei includes various practices such as chanting, contemplation of the emptiness of all dharmas and the Lotus Samadhi, which includes penance, prayer, worship of the Buddhas, and reciting the Lotus Sutra. Neither walking nor sitting samadhi. Faxing Fizuo Sanmei Fei Xing Fei Zuo Sanmei. This includes the awareness of mental factors as they arise in the mind. One is to contemplate them as not moving, not originated, not extinguished, not coming, not going. Topic: The five periods and eight teachings of the Buddha. In order to provide a comprehensive framework for Buddhist doctrine, Zi classified the various Buddhist sutras into the five periods and eight teachings traditional Chinese, Wu Shi Ba Jiao simplified Chinese, Wu Shi Ba Jiao pinyin, Wu Shi Ba Jiao. These were also known as Goji Hakkyo in Japanese and Osi Palgyo in Korean. According to Zi, the five periods of the Buddhist teachings were as follows. The flower garland period, taught immediately after the Buddha attained enlightenment, lasting three weeks. The teachings at this time were incomprehensible to all but advanced bodhisattvas, and thus Shakyamuni Buddha started over with more basic the Agama teachings. The Agama period, taught at Deer Park, and lasting twelve years. These consisted of the most elementary teachings of the Buddha including karma, rebirth, the Four Noble Truths, etc. The correct and equal period, lasting eight years. This marks the Buddha's teachings that begin to transition from so-called Hinayana teachings to Mahayana ones. The wisdom period, lasting 22 years. The teachings here consist of the perfection of wisdom teachings among others. Here, the teachings were intended to demonstrate that the classifications of Hinayana and Mahayana were expedient only, and that were ultimately empty. The lotus and nirvana period, lasting eight years. The teachings of this final period mark the most perfect teachings, namely the Lotus Sutra and the Mahayana Nirvana Sutra, which encompass the Buddha's original intention. These were compared in order to the five stages of milk, fresh milk, cream, curds, butter and ghee clarified butter. Further, the teachings of the Buddha were organized into four types based on the capacity of listener. Sudden teachings Gradual teachings Indeterminate teachings Secret or esoteric Teachings. and four types of sources Hinayana, Mahayana, Teachings found in both, Teachings that transcend both, e.g., Lotus Sutra. Together, these were the eight teachings of the Buddha attributed to Ziyi. <laughs> 3000 realms in a single moment of life Ziyi taught the principle of three thousand realms in a single thought moment in his Great Concentration and Insight, based on the Lotus Sutra. The number 3, is derived from the ten worlds, multiplied by ten because of the mutual possession of the ten worlds, which gives one hundred, multiplied by ten the ten factors listed in ch. 2 of the Lotus Sutra which gives one thousand, one thousand multiplied by three the three realms of existence, self, other, and environment which gives three thousand. Volume 5 of Great Concentration and Insight states, life at each moment is endowed with the ten worlds. At the same time, each of the ten worlds is endowed with all ten worlds, so that an entity of life actually possesses one hundred worlds. 
Each of these worlds in turn possesses 30 realms, which means that in the 100 worlds there are 3,000 realms. The 3,000 realms of existence are all possessed by life in a single moment. If there is no life, that is the end of the matter. But if there is the slightest bit of life, it contains all the 3,000 realms. This is what we mean when we speak of the region of the unfathomable. See also Guoqing Temple Zhou Jichang Notes Topic works Dharmamitra Trans, The Essentials of Buddhist Meditation by Sramana Ziyi, Kalavinka Press 2008, ISBN 978-1-935413-00-4 Donner, Neil and Daniel B. Stevenson The Great Calming and Contemplation. Honolulu, University of Hawaii Press. Shen, Heian. The Profound Meaning of the Lotus Sutra, Tin Tei Philosophy of Buddhism Volumes I and II. Delhi, Originals, 2005. ISBN 8188629413 Swanson, Paul L., Trans., 2004. The Great Cessation and Contemplation Mo Ho Chi Quan, Chapter 1-6, CD-ROM, Tokyo, Kosei Publishing Co. Tam, Y. Loon, 1986. A Study and Translation on the Quan Xin Lun of Chi I and its Commentary by Quan Ting, Hamilton, Ontario, McMaster University Thich Tien Tam, Trans, 1992. Ten Doubt About Pure Land by Dharma Master Kai I t. 47 No 1961. In, Pure Land Buddhism, Dialogues with Ancient Masters, N.Y., Sutra Translation Committee of the United States and Canada and Buddha Dharma Education Association, pp. 19–51. Secondary, Secondary sources Chappelle, David W. Is Tendai Buddhism relevant to the modern world? Japanese Journal of Religious Studies 14 halves 3, 247–266. Dumoulin, Heinrich 1993. Early Chinese Zen Re-Examine tilde a Supplement to Zen Buddhism, A History, Japanese Journal of Religious Studies 1993 and 20 over 1. Dumoulin, Heinrich Author, Heisig, James W. Trans, and Nitter, Paul, Trans, 2005. Zen Buddhism, A History. Volume 1, India and China. World Wisdom. ISBN 978-0-941532-89-1 Hervitz, Leon Chi I – An Introduction to the Life and Ideas of a Chinese Buddhist Monk. Melanges Chinois et Boutiques 12, Bruxelles, Institut Belgique des Hautes Etudes Chinoises. Contour, Hans Rudolf Contemplation, Practice, Doctrine and Wisdom in the Teaching of Ziyi 538–597, Interreligio 42, 21–37 Rhodes, Robert 2012. The Development of Ziyi's Three Contemplations and Its Relation to the Three Truths Theory. In Conference Papers, Tiantai Buddhist Thought and Practice, Taipei, Wavan University, pp. 312–357 Stevenson, Daniel B. 1986. The Four Kinds of Samadhi in Early Tin Tei Buddhism. In, Peter N. Gregory, Traditions of Meditation in Chinese Buddhism Vol. 1, Honolulu, University of Hawaii Press, pp. 45–98. ISBN 0-8248-1088-0.